Now you see you're getting the perfect marbling from the coconut oil that's staying nice and solid from the chilled beef. Spicy chicken nuggets, the Frosty, and of course the Baconator. These are just some of the most iconic menu items from Wendy's past and present. But what does the future hold as society shifts towards a plant-based diet? No one can predict future fast food better than Josh. Today, my time-traveling compatriot Chase and I will be creating the Vegan Baconator, Wendy's next mega viral menu item. This is future fast food. All right, Chase, have you ever made vegan bacon before? I have not. Uh, full disclosure, me neither. That's why we're doing like, <laughs> four different things. Okay, good. Welcome to the future where nothing is certain except for the rise of veganism due to methane emissions from cows. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that uh, innuendo of an emoji and you're gonna clip off the ends of it and then you're gonna cut it in half and then slice it in very thin slices. I'm gonna make a marinade filled with many bacon-ish flavored items. This is the loose thought process. And then we're gonna take <laughs> thin strips of various things, try and dehydrate them and fry them to make them crispy and see if any of them actually taste like bacon. All right, so I'm gonna start by making the marinade. You start by cutting that up. Okay. I'm taking uh, random things. This is Bragg's Organic Coconut Liquid Aminos. I don't necessarily know what it does, but it tastes a little bit smoky, a little sweet, a little savory, and I see a lot of vegan moms buying it at Whole Foods. So I'm gonna put in like, what's that, three tablespoons of that in there? That's looking really good. Have you been working on, stop it! Have you been working on your knife skills? I've just been watching your videos. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, that means a lot. <laughs> I keep watching and just feeling like I need to do better. So. I watch the international taste test videos and I think that I need to show my midriff more. All right, I'm taking about a teaspoon and a half of liquid smoke in there. You can smell that. Ooh, yeah. It smells like if you like put bacon in a trash compactor, which sounds like a GMM episode. <laughs> and I'm putting in some dark soy sauce in there and then a little bit of maple syrup because a lot of bacon that we taste, right? It get that like sweet maple hit is what I'm thinking. That's actually perfect. These slices are great. This is just a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, do you wanna switch? Do you like stir this up, taste it, and add more stuff till it tastes cool. like bacon. I'll take over the slicing duties. It smells like we can make really good ribs. We can make vegan ribs because in the future there's not gonna be any animals except for people will actually be the animals because we'll be kept as pets for the rich. <laughs> There we go, this looks exactly like bacon. <laughs> you know? Wendy's in the future, the Baconator is the king of the meaty fast food items, right? Wouldn't like the Whopper be the king of, like, cause there's like, it's in the name? Yeah, but that's just cause they haven't adopted the parliamentary system yet. Still, but no, like wow. they, they did the impossible Whopper, right? Yeah, Carl's Jr. bringing in Beyond Beef, Dunkin' Donuts is now doing like a Beyond Sausage, <laughs> love what you did there. And so Wendy's, Wendy's hasn't done any of this yet. But, you know, uh, uh, carbon emissions, those are bad. Cows fart out methane, that's clouding up the air. Uh, people, is, pork is bad. If you were a hipster bartender making my drink like that, I would be like, tip this dude $10 extra because he's so confident. All right, I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied. I think you did a great job. Ah, that's great. So how did you combine all these to taste like that? None of those flavor, it like created a sourness, like a ring Did you see me? I wasn't looking. Well, like, I know, no. but even like on the off chance, all these things taste somewhat similar and somehow that tastes like nuts, like gasoline. Wow, so we have our perfect bacon sauce. It tastes exactly like bacon and, and nothing other. Oh, it's other. so good. It's so, my favorite thing ever. Just, just paint a layer on the bottom and I'm gonna start layering this stuff. And then you're gonna paint the top of each of these as well. And then we're gonna dehydrate it in the oven and see what happens. I think it was a marinade when you made it. <laughs> it. There's no words for what it is right now. Some sort of like toxic sludge. Whoa, what do you got there? These are uh, tire treads that you flatten out. <laughs> this is rice paper. Rice oh. paper. This is one of those like newfangled like vegan blog ways. Like it's actually bacon. food. Yeah, so what you do is you hydrate these a little bit. This, this is the one that I'm most hopeful for, frankly. So look at Chase, look at Now it's all like this. Oh wow. And I'm just gonna cut these into bacon-like strips. And then we're gonna very safely take our knife and use it as a spatula. <laughs> Guy, it didn't even cut the rice paper. <laughs> and then you wanna just... Great. So now we're gonna take our rice paper and we're just gonna splap that down. And then we're actually gonna make the rice paper at a higher heat. So we're gonna keep all that at about 275 for about an hour and three more hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chase, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, what? Can we have some focus on set? All right, Chase, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put that in the oven at 275 for one hour and then three more hours after that. And then that one we're gonna put in the oven for 15 minutes at about 375, because that okay. one's gonna cook up quick. That has a lot of moisture to evaporate. This one doesn't. I, we didn't put any mushrooms anywhere on these, did we? <laughs> no, we, I think we completely forgot about All that. All right, Chase, so we're gonna put that in the oven. <laughs> we're gonna put stuff in the oven and then you'll see. 
Chase, <laughs> if you can't tell, we have all our vegan bacon. Think about Wendy's. They have so many resources, right? Like, they could just grow animals from scratch that, like, I don't know, don't have a nervous system, but do have a delicious fatty belly. Yeah, don't feel pain. Yeah. And get a lot of bacon. So my thought, we're gonna take various things of this, and uh -huh. we're gonna deep fry it, and then we're gonna taste them to see which one oh, tastes wait, so most this... like bacon. So we're just gonna fry these for about 30 yeah. seconds, try and get some, like, crisp on them the way that, you know, bacon's crispy, people like yeah. it. Wendy's bacon especially, I have nothing but love for Wendy's, but they do have the lowest quality fast food bacon in the entire game. Their bacon to me, it's like so, so, so crispy yeah. and there's no like life to it. Not like these this beautiful fried eggplant. Dude, hold on, this is what, I've cooked a lot of vegan food in my day and this is what they do. They'll take like, uh, you know, like tofu and like boil it in some seaweed and be like, this is fish now. You know, like they just take random vegetable items and call it whatever they want. So we're doing that. Okay, which ones do you have the most hope for? I. Don't have hope for the tofu ones at all. So no, I'm kind no, of no. split between this, even though it looks weird, and the eggplant. We still got the rice paper to fry up. Because I want to say that for that's last year. I think that's going to be the ticket. Because this looks, at least it's a strip. I do think it's between that and the eggplant. I, I think, think so too. But that's just because of look, probably. It's not bad. It's not bad. If you smell your fingers, it smells like bacon. It smells like a highly processed fast food bacon, which is what we're going for. Let's try this, this vegan eggplant bacon. Okay. It it's really have, gross, I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. ever have someone really like, and like you go to a crappy sandwich shop and they're like, try our house made chips. And you're like, <laughs> they're gonna be bad. And then you get them and they look like this and you know what they're gonna taste like. Mm -hmm. It tastes like that. Well, we, okay, let's try the tofu. Just act like you like it. Just look at just lie to the camera. It's okay. easy. Oh my God, is that bacon? Oh, it's the best one yet. This is the best bacon I've ever had. <laughs> Okay, let's try the rice paper, because this is awful. All right, these are pretty cool and translucent. We're technically just making egg rolls. This is starting to get That's some crisp on it. That's looking a lot more bacony than anything. Like it's got the bacon bubbles. So if you wanted to do this like more like bacon at home, could you do it in a pan with oil instead of like this way? Yep. We should have done that in hindsight. That would have been a good idea. Wow, this looks like bacon. That is insane. Kind of looks like a used condom as well. Bacony. If we're being honest. I'm gonna pull this one. Why does this look so much like bacon? You ever just shocked with your own work that you produce? All the time. All the time. <laughs> this is hot, but like, honestly, this looks like bacon. Yeah, it's got like the fat pockets and the like crispy parts. It's crackling like bacon? Mm-hmm. Thinking, whatever. You know what I'm talking about how Wendy's bacon is all crunched and has no life to it? Yeah, this is... That's it! I wouldn't say this is the best bacon, but it's really damn good Wendy's bacon. This is damn good Wendy's bacon. I'm taking this. This is going on our vegan bacon item. This is going on every vegan bacon air coming out of Wendy's circa 2024, the very far distant future where everything's gonna be fine just like it is in the present. Welcome to the office. Like, <laughs> I'm so soft. I'm big, but I'm so soft. So, Chase, would uh, would you believe if we looked at all these ingredients that I, I would tell you that this would create a burger just so much like beef that you wouldn't believe it? Would you believe that? I, I don't understand what you asked. Would you not believe that all these ingredients before you wouldn't create a burger that tastes so much like not beef that you would go, wow? Yes. That's what I'm telling you today. What we have here is La Fiesta Soya. This is textured soy protein crumbles, and we're gonna rehydrate these in water. So you gonna pour that into there? The whole thing? Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to take some cues from Impossible Burger. We're gonna try and make this look and taste as much like beef as possible. I believe in us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of that La Fiesta Soya, and we're gonna combine it with grated beets to give it that really red color. We're gonna add some dark soy, because that adds all that umami. Ooh, umami. Ooh, umami, I don't know. And then we're gonna add some more things that make it look like meat. <laughs> so we're gonna add a bunch of spices to it, a little bit of liquid smoke, because that like sells that kind of like burnt meat taste. MSG, oh, yeah. of course, the essence of umami, and then some rice flour to bind it. And then uh, squares, because Wendy's. Wait, ask me, hey, Wendy's, I'm Wendy's in this situation. Why don't you, why aren't your burgers round? Hey, Wendy's, why aren't your burgers round? Because here at Wendy's, we never cut corners. Give it a good whiff. Tell me what it smells like. Give me your, your tasting notes. It smells like Cheerios that got moldy. Yeah, I get sweaty dog food. Chase, <laughs> would you believe if I told you that by combining the sweaty dog food with a few simple ingredients that it wouldn't not be beef in so far as Wendy's Vegan Baconator? No. That's right. So I'm taking all of the soy protein. I'm gonna dump it in here. Can you unwrap this little uh, wet gift package Ooh, and yeah. then grate the package into that bowl? Uh, you gotta skin it. 
So skin cell and beef. Oh. So all we did, we took this beet, we roasted it at 350 for like two hours. I did not know that there was skin on a beet. Yeah, you roast it, but then the skin should peel off really easily, and then you get all that lovely beet flesh, so you should be able to grate on that cheese grater, which is now a beet grater. All right, so we got all the soy in there. Now uh, we need to add things to it. So you're gonna be grating that beet. I'm just gonna dump in a bunch of salt. Wendy's beef, it's very salty. Wendy's actually does have some of the best beef in the game, so it's a shame that when cows go extinct in 2022, as we all know, uh, that Wendy's will just have to resort to this. But That's luckily, soon. oh dude, things are happening fast these days. You kidding, you watch the news? And I'm gonna dump in just a ton of MSG. Cause MSG kinda tastes like beef. Well, it tastes like animal. Somehow they just distilled animal taste into a large powder. And then rice flour, cause it gives it like this nice little dense chewiness and then it'll soak up any of that moisture that is in that soy. Chase, how are you doing? I'm doing great, this is going really well. Okay, I'm dumping in nutritional yeast in there. Nutritional yeast kind of has that like cheesy taste. That's what a lot of like vegan mac and cheese is made from. They'll make some mm -hmm. sort of vegetable puree, then add nutritional yeast to it. Still doesn't taste good though. Nah, uh, none of this tastes good. That's the whole thing about vegan food. It's like you eat it and you're like, yeah, I can see how one would think that that would be bacon. Is it good? Not necessarily. And again, I have nothing but respect for it except for all the disrespectful things I'm saying right now. How's it coming? How's a it lot great? better now. It's doing well. That's, that's actually looking really, really good. But let's see how much we got there. Let's try that. I think I put a spoon in my... Jeez, so we're just this. gonna... Chase, would you believe me if I were to have had told you not not less than three minutes ago that this is gonna be indistinguishable from cow meat? Maybe. <laughs> me too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend this up right now. It should form a smooth vegan meat paste. And then I'm gonna take this cold coconut oil and try and pulse it in there to give it little fatty pockets to try and really like reinforce that fat flavor and texture in there. It's the other way. You do it. That's it? Go. Then what? I'll press the button. Look at that. Look at beef. It does not look like beef. What do you mean? You ever seen beef? All right, let's add a little bit more rice flour to this. Let's see if that does the trick. Is this rice flour? Or is this MSG? <laughs> <laughs> buzz it up, buzz it up, buzz it up. Oh, we haven't added this yet. The, the <laughs> coconut oil, everyone knows when you're making ve veggie burgers, it's not beef until there's coconuts in it. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and just add like a lot of it. Uh, so, bu buzz it up. Now you see you're getting the perfect marbling from the coconut oil that's staying nice and solid from the chilled beef. Chase, now we have our perfect veggie patties. Look, you can take this out and it's form just it. Just chunks of coconut oil. That's great. That's what you want. You want that's called marbling. You know how you get you look at beef, you get the nice big old chunk of coconut sometimes. <laughs> that's lucky. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop that right in there. Chase, this is a life lesson. First, to make a square, one must make a circle. Oh. But to make a circle, one must M make a, a trapezoid. <laughs> I didn't have to take math in college. And look uh, at that, we're successful. Yeah. Ish. In certain circles, people think that we're successful. In certain circles, people sure don't. Hang on, you date a lawyer for a bunch of years, they're, they're treated like a sideshow. Fun fact, she oh. and I had very similar hands. It <laughs> did, I remember that. We didn't do anything with the information, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> we just found out, like we didn't, like we observed it merely. We didn't like find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna <laughs> drop this other patty. <laughs> do you know what to do now? What? I feel so uncomfortable. Why is this looks like just a great normal burger, but why didn't, well you cut all the corners. I got real uncomfortable. Cut all the corners. Kind of stuff. That looks great as a normal burger. See if we can get under this guy. Yeah, look at that. Now we got a nice hard sear on him. And now we're just gonna take to get some good fat a nice lacquer on it, we're gonna take. Nice coconut amino butter, yeah, look at that. And that's just gonna sear right into those patties. Why did you do that after you grilled it? Sometimes I don't have all the answers, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna throw, boom, one slice of vegan cheese on there, one slice of vegan cheese on there. We're gonna get our, our bacon that shockingly tastes and looks a little bit like bacon. We're gonna put three of our bacon strips right there. And then I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna pop it right on top, give it the old <laughs> the old backbreaker maneuver. Chase, vegan mayonnaise up that bun. This mayonnaise is vegan. You made it? I sure did. We just emulsified a little bit of soy milk, avocado oil, vinegar and stuff. Just get that right, beautiful vegan burger. 
around there. Pop that down, get some ketchup and more mayonnaise on the top bun, and then we're gonna smash it down. Vegan ketchup? Yeah, uh, ketchup is made of vegetables, not fruits. Cool. Therefore, it is vegan. Chase, that's that's all the baconators. We got our beautiful beef patties, our beautiful rice paper bacon, our vegan cheese, our ketchup, and our mayonnaise. We did it, man. I'm actually very impressed with the finished product. I was not confident at any step of the way. There were some points in this that I really doubted. <laughs> everything that I've ever believed in. How is Wendy's gonna market this? Chase, I'm so glad you asked. So Wendy's slogan used to be, you know when it's real. Since there's nothing real about this burger, <laughs> technically <laughs> speaking, their new slogan's gonna be. You know when it's fake, but it tastes real. At least as real as we could get it. The Vegan Baconator from Wendy's. Meet us halfway. Chase had to run to the bathroom, but I cannot wait to dig into this. So, glorp, glorp. <laughs> glorp, glorp. It's been so long, where have you been? <laughs> Attack ships off the shoulder of Orion. <laughs> sea beams glittering at the Tannhauser Gate. <laughs> All the memories were lost like tears in the rain. <laughs> Time to die. Well, first you have to feed me this burger. So, hop to it, Clark Clark. Remember, human mouths are on their face. His people's mouths are where our, you know. Yep. Okay. Gen yeah, gently. Thrash a little bit less. And, and now we, okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Mm, thank you, Gorp Gorp. Yeah, linger a little more. Mm, Gorp Gorp, can you go check on Chase? Don't crack him. These people eat a lot of clams, they like to crack living things. Thank you, Gorp Gorp. My thoughts on the bacon. The beef is a little bit gummy, sure. That's on me, that's not on Wendy. Wendy, you're a star, but the bacon, it's super bacony. You get a lot of that meat flavor. I still do believe that this is a future hit for Wendy's, and I am just trying to lay a path. I want the rest of the fast food world to learn from my own personal failures to then create a better fast food item for the future. This is it right here. Would have been a lot easier if I decided to make a vegan Frosty. And if you think Wendy should make this future fast food a reality, tweet at Wendy's with hashtag future fast food. They might roast you, they always do. Thank you so much for joining us in Mythical Kitchen. We got new videos every week and new episodes of our podcast every Wednesday. Hit us up on Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams become food. We'll see you all next time. Clark Clark, is he from the future or is he an alien? <laughs>